Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 6th. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here, Taurus, and we're going to see uh, what is going on for you at this time. Um, you have this crafter card in your current general energies. It says a talent is just waiting to be expressed with your hands. I am almost positive that the last time I that I used this deck with you, you had that card. So uh, if you're creating anything, it doesn't even have to be crafts. It could just be anything <laughs> that you're creating with your hands or putting the work into. Uh, I feel like it's going to be very successful for you. And I, but I feel like, yeah, look, you have the Knight of Pentacles here, which tells me that something needs like a little bit more elbow grease. I don't think you need to like, you know, um, work your fingers to the bone here or, or anything like that. I just feel that something maybe needs a little bit more work. Uh, something needs like a little bit more ener of your, you know, time, effort, and energy. And, um, you know, that's what I would be doing here. Yeah, this is a very good reading. Look, you have the sun and the star. You know, the sun and the star is fame and fortune, but it could just represent something that you're being recognized for. You know, it doesn't mean you're going to become famous, obviously, maybe some of you. Um, but, you know, if you're like working on a certain project or a certain type of business, you, you know, maybe, again, maybe you don't become ridiculously famous, but maybe you um, become a recognized expert or, you know, um, a leader in the field, whatever you want to call it, right? And that's like the vibe I get from this reading. And it could be something that you're working on here. This card says homemade products, jewelry, jewelry, or some kind of craft project. It also says start a small business at home by creating novelties by hand. And again, I don't think this is only a crafts, like art, you know what I mean? It could, it could be, but it could also be other things that you're working on as well. It's like maybe you're writing a book or, you know, doing something else like that. So, you know, whatever you're working on, I feel there could be clearly a lot of success here. Kind of feel like this is something that you've almost given up on, the, the uh, moon card here. But it's funny that we go from the moon to the sun. But you have the Knight of Pentacles in between it. You know what this is telling me, Taurus, is that the only way you can gain clarity right here is to get moving on something. It's like, yeah, there's like a lot of what ifs with the moon card. You know, with the moon card, we could say, you know, it can represent fears, illusions, fantasies. Um, I don't like the moon card in the after tarot, this deck right here, uh, because like she's turned around. And again, the moon says you need to walk all the way down to the mountains so that you can have an achievement. The mountains in the tarot represent an achievement. Uh, you also have the Ten of Pentacles, which again, I've said this to you before in past readings, you're going to keep getting the Ten of Pentacles for forever, um, basically. With Uranus and Taurus, it's all about building and leaving a legacy. So it's like whatever you're working on, I feel could be like setting you up for life or could be setting you up for long-term success. And it looks to me that's like, that's what you're finding here with this um, Ten of Pentacles energy. Uh, but again, I feel like there's a need for you to get started because you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles represents like over, kind of like overthinking. Um, you know, it's like he's not making a decision to start planting seeds in the fields behind him. So I feel like you need to like take action. You have the Six of Swords as well. Some of you might need to leave something behind um, to start working on a project or a business. Uh, even if it's not a project or a business, this could just be a change that you're wanting to make in your life that you want to work on. And But it could require you to like cut something out does seem to me like you know a lot of people right now for whatever reason keep getting this energy of like needing to let go of one thing so that they can have something else and you know that's what i would say <laughs> i don't know what to say there uh with the moon card you have this friend card again there could be a friend that could be very helpful for you, especially in like work or business. So maybe you have a friend that's like a business expert or just happens to know how to do certain things. Again, don't be afraid to ask for help at this time. Like don't be afraid to ask a person to assist you if you need help. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have this reunion card. Some of you could be reuniting with a friend that you haven't talked to in a while. I also kind of get the, I, I, I do have like a weird feeling here of um, just kind of like a right place, right time type of situation where it's almost like you maybe need help with something and like the right person shows up at the right time. It doesn't feel like love to me, although you do have a little bit of love here. Not really love reading this reading. Um, but I do feel like you could be having like a meeting of the, just the right person that knows exactly like what you need to do. Or, you know, it could even be one of those things where maybe you find like a YouTube video where that gets recommended to you that is like just the right bit of information. So, you know, I always tell people be on the lookout for those opportunities because when we're looking for it, we find it. And with the Six of Swords, you have this love card. <laughs> I'm going to eat my words now. Um, 
there's clearly could be love coming in for you. I don't think it's a major focus, but what I would say, uh, you have this love card, you have the Ace of Cups, the Sun, the Star. I mean, if you're meeting a person, could be a very special person uh, that you're meeting here. You always have Leo, you always have Virgo showing up in your readings, and you have Aquarius here as well. It could be any sign, take it how it resonates, but those are the signs that kind of uh, stand out to me at this time. So uh, that's what I'd be, be looking out for. We're gonna double clarify this reading just because, I don't know, I came up with this crazy idea and I just wanna try it. With the moon in the friend card, you have the two of wands. Yep, the two of wands about leave, leaving a comfort zone. So, you know, everybody gets these comfort zone cards. I think all of us need to, it's like we're all, it's not really, I don't know if it's a comfort zone or it's just like the fear of being exposed. And you have the star card here. So it's like, we need to take the lead on things and kind of just be willing to make anything happen in our lives. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Reunion card, you have the Six of Swords, which you have twice here. Definitely improvements and kind of moving on to calmer shores. Again, there could be like a person, I really do get this feeling of like a, you know, a person who guides you across something here. You know, it's like there's a person coming in for you. I, I don't think it's necessarily love. I feel like it's just a person, like a friend, a mentor. Again, it could be a person that you find like on YouTube or on in on TV or something like that, where it's like they have the right advice. They give you the advice you need, or, you know, it's kind of like one of those things. It's also kind of funny that I feel like some of you could be getting this advice. It's like you, it's the type of advice where it's like, you know, the person is right, <laughs> but you also don't want to uh, accept the advice, you know, but I think I think you are, but I think you all know what I mean. It's like sometimes I think we get advice where it's like we know the person is right that's giving us the advice, but we also just don't want it to be right in like, the, you know, in a good way. <laughs> so I kind of feel that here. With the Six of Swords and the Love card, you have the Tower. If love does come in, I do feel like it would be a little bit of a surprise just because I think you're maybe not necessarily looking for it right now. Uh, if you are looking for love, I feel like this is kind of like a connection that could surprise you. I don't feel bad about this tower, actually. I feel it could be a good tower. Uh, you know, it could be a person who leads to a change. What I would say is there's something in the air as far as love is concerned, where it's like if uh, just, I don't know what it is, but it's like if we get into a relationship right now, I think that it could either, you know, it could bring up some things that require us to change our lives in some way, you know, so just be aware of that. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think, you know, it's like we, we it just could lead to a change. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, don't dwell on what might be on the other side of that closed door. Yes, let go of the past. Um, I would actually say that with the seven of wands, seven of wands is like defending your position at the top of a hill. So some of you might be guarding yourself against a past person here. And again, I feel like this is saying like, don't keep thinking about the past. Everything you want is in the future. So, you know, I feel like some of you need to be more future focused. Um, and especially if you're feeling like depressed or, you know, anything like that, I feel like sometimes depression is just thinking about the past really. And then we just need to change our focus to something else. Obviously, if you need help, go get help. But, um, you know, again, if you're like not usually depressed and you're like in a down mood, I kind of feel like it's saying, this is saying like, put some boundaries up against the past here. You have the Knight of Pentacles, definitely need to make progress. Again, Knight of Pentacles is normally, normally his horse isn't making any moves and it represents no movement and he needs to make moves. He needs to start planting seeds in this field. So it's like you have more than enough knowledge and wisdom to be successful right now, Taurus, but I feel like you have to make your moves. You also have the Ace of Cups here. And, you know, I do feel like there could be love coming in. Again, it feels slow to me. <laughs> um, not only the Knight of Pentacles, but Temperance, Queen of Swords. For some of you, it like it's like it could. I would say it's a new person, Page of Pentacles, obviously. Um, but I feel like this person, it's like either they want to move slow or you both want to move slowly here. And I think, guess what? That is perfectly fine, right? There's like no rush right now, so take your time. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have this Scholar card. Yeah, I would I, like. I feel like you've learned enough. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles is a card of studiousness as well. So it's like I feel like this is saying. Sometimes I think we get into this um, thing where if we're like working on a project or a business, we get stuck thinking that there's more for us to learn. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't always be learning, but what I am saying is there comes a time where we have to take what we've learned and we have to try it. We have to put it into action. And I feel like this is saying you've learned enough. It's time to get moving. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have this cheerfulness card. So clearly there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. This card goes down to the sun. And you know, the sun, if <laughs> the sun is basically a card of cheerfulness, the sun is basically a card of happiness. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. 
With the Ace of Cups, you have this young woman card. You could be attracting a younger person or you could be the younger person here in a connection if you're looking for love. And um, the other thing I'm getting here with the Page of Pentacles is that, you know, it could just be a young type of love. You could be the same age of this person, but it's like maybe the two of you together, it's kind of like a high school romance, you know? It's like a younger type of connection. Let's see what's going on here. With the scholar, you have the lovers. Again, I told you I was gonna eat my words saying it wasn't a love reading, right? And there, here's love. So you could be learning about a new person, which is great. Uh, if you're not looking for love, I would say that there, and even if you are, um, you know, I feel like there are more directions than you realize. At, at the end here with the good stuff, you have the starfish card. And, you know, the starfish, its arms, it has those five arms. It can kind of like move in any direction. I feel like this is saying like, maybe you're, I, you know, especially if you're working towards something, like if you're working on becoming an expert, um, like I said at the beginning of the reading, or if you're working on becoming a mentor to people or whatever, it's like, maybe you're going one way, but maybe there's something better that you could be doing. I feel like that lovers as well is saying like, open up to the possibilities. And with the cheerfulness card and the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Swords. I do feel like some of you are kind of like, um, you know, it's it's like a little bit of a heartbreak going this way. You know, it could be with a Virgo for some of you. Um, you know, the Virgo could be the new person though, is what I'm getting. <laughs> so, you know, the Virgo could actually be a new person, but at the same time, you know, again, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I feel like some of you are, like, I feel like you've healed from this situation, but you're also like putting up boundaries against it. And with the younger woman in the Ace of Cups, yes, you have the Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor coming in for you. So definitely a very solid connection. Uh, next for what you need to hear right now, you have this wizard card. It says, "Your use your skills to aid others. Yes, anything you can do to help other people is definitely going to be, um, you know, highlighted at this time. You know, we have Pluto going into Aquarius. I say it all the time. Pluto and Aquarius is the collective. Um, so anything you can do to help the collective, anything you can do to inspire other people, you know, all those things. You have the sun and the star, literally inspiration. So anything you, you can do, uh, to inspire others is going to be very helpful and it's probably going to reward you times like a million. You have the hermit here. So again, a little bit holding back. I know you're holding back here, Taurus. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you right here. He has the star in his lantern, right? And it's like he's not letting the star out. The other story about the hermit is that his feet are frozen at the top of the mountain if he were to take his lantern and put it by his feet, it would melt the ice and he would be able to continue on his journey. He would be able to move forward. So it's like something needs to be revealed here. It could be like a hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability, or maybe you just need to kind of uh, shake it out, you know, kind of, um, which I think, I think I said this to you in your last reading. It's like, I think there's a need for you to, you know, kind of not care what people think. You have the uh, temperance card. Uh, temperance is t trying to turn one thing into another. It also can represent a transformation or a transition. You also have the Queen of Swords and she can also represent kind of like a transformation uh, or she at least sees the change that she needs to make. So for some of you, you could be making a change here. You have the sun. Uh, you could be attracting a Leo if you're looking for love, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. I do feel that there is a lot of happiness uh, coming in for you right now and just like a lot of reasons to be happy as well which is nice so let's see here uh with the hermit you have this money card <laughs> yeah see see here's the thing it's like by holding back i feel like there's a lot of money that could be coming in for you but i feel like you have to like open up to uh allow this money to come in so you know i feel like more exposure more exposing your talents gifts skills and abilities to the world uh, with the temperance card, you have this melancholy card. Um, you know, this to me is basically saying that you are going through a change, especially in work or business or how you make your money. And you could be getting a little bit down on yourself because it's like what you're doing isn't working as well as you want. And I feel like the queen of swords, like everything that I've been saying this whole entire time is basically saying you're just maybe needing to find a new direction. You know, I feel like you just need to find a different way of doing things. With the sun card, you have this size card, <laughs> as in sighing and like, ah, you know, like that. Maybe you just need to let it out here, Taurus. Maybe you need to, you know, do something to uh, get find more excitement or, you know, maybe there's some sort of change that needs to come into your life that could be more exciting. I definitely uh, feel that energy here. Let's, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, with the money and the hermit, you have the hermit. Yes, I feel like you need to open up. You could be attracting a Virgo who has money, uh, which, which whatever. Um, you know, I feel that um, 
mostly that exposing something, your star, your inner voice or your North Star to the world is going to lead, lead to success. With the Melancholy card and the Temperance card, you have the Empress. There's a lot of abundance coming in for you here. So, you know, tap into your skills. With the Sun and the Size card, you have the Nine of Swords. I feel like you're fearing that things are always going to be the same. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're fearing that you won't be able to change your story, that you won't be able to... Um, I feel like you're fearing that you're you're kind of like gonna be locked into some sort of identity. I don't know how to say what I want to say. I'll I'll tell you a story. Years ago, I used to have a business in in marketing and like the type of marketing I was I was doing. There was like a type of person who always would do this type of marketing and they would end up like old and they would end up like living a certain way. There was like a certain identity attached to it, right? And um, I started to realize, I'm like, man, I do not want that identity. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to end up like one of these, you know, one of these guys basically, right? There's no other way to say it. And um, what I would say here is like, I, I kind of get that same feeling for you where you're just like saying, you're saying to yourself like, wow, I don't want to end up like just always having to be stuck in the cycle, but you're not. I feel like something needs to be revealed here clearly. At the end for the good stuff, no matter what shows up here, it's gonna be good no matter what. You have the starfish, it says, trust your instincts and follow your intuition. It's like, you know the right direction that you wanna go in. Again, I think that right now, especially there's our internal intu intuitive world, which is guiding us in the right direction. Then there's the outside world. The outside world right now for everyone is saying, you can't do that, <laughs> whatever it is you wanna do. So there could be a lot of judging or judgments or fears going on around like certain things that you want to do. And this basically just says you need to learn to do it anyway. You have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles and the Star card. Page of Pentacles card studiousness. So, you know, I feel like you have learned a lot about the things and the changes that you want to do, Taurus. But again, I feel like you can only learn so much. It's like it's time to take action. It's time to get moving here. Um, I also feel this could be a new person coming in for you. It uh, could be an Aquarius coming in for you as well. Take it how it resonates, but you have the star here. So I feel like there could be a lot of happiness and joy and just good things coming in for you with the star card. Um, but I also feel that the star, you know, she is saying that she's pouring this water onto the land and that water is flowing out into the world. That water comes from the pool of universal consciousness, which is like right here. And it just represents the fact that if something's possible for one person, it's possible for you. So I feel like this energy of holding back, like I feel like you need to stop holding back or mm, it's like, you know what to do, but I feel like you need to like do more of it. You have the queen of swords, definitely some sort of change coming in for you here. So I feel like there is like a change or, um, you know, transformation coming in for you in your life. So let's see what is going on for you with the queen of swords. You have this sweetheart card. Here you go. I'll show you over here. <laughs> I feel like you could be attracting a sweetheart if you're looking for love. Again, wouldn't really call it a love reading. What I would say, though, is that you have the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, you know, love, Empress, uh, very attracted to you, sweetheart card. So you could be becoming aware of a person who's like just a sweetheart who's interested in you. I would say go for it, whatever. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, you have this journey card. I kind of feel like you're on a long journey, not like literally traveling. Some of you could be traveling, but I feel this is more like saying like what you are about to build is going to be an adventure. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very fulfilling as well. So I see a lot of fulfillment in like your achievements over the next several years. I know this is a weekly reading, but it's popping into my head as like over the next several years. With the star card, you have the soldier card. Yeah, it's like one foot in front of the other. This card here is my like one foot in front of the other card. It basically says, you just need to put one foot in front of the other. <laughs> you just need to get started on whatever you're trying to build here and you will be successful, Taurus. Uh, with the um, Sweetheart card and the Queen of Swords, you have the Magician. You have like several cards here that kind of give me Magician vibes, including that Wizard card as well. So, you, But I kind of feel like you could be attracting a person who is like a Magician. Maybe they are very good at attracting things into their life. Maybe they're multi-talented. And, you know, again, what I would say is if you want love, this person could help you express your, um, you know, express your, these talents that seem to be a little bit caged up here out. Like they could be helping you do that. So that's nice. Again, if you don't want love, I really feel there is a person just in general that is coming in here, whether it's like physically or like I said, on YouTube or TV or something like that, or it could even be a book that you read as well. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because you have a lot of inspiration here, star, sun, you know, and you know, I, I feel like this is saying you need the inspiration because that's what's going to break you free. Uh, in the starfish card as well. With the Page of Pentacles, the Journey card, you have the Queen of Cups. You could be attracting a person from a distance. Uh, so if you're wanting love, could involve travel. 
With the star and the soldier, you have the net of swords. Yeah, don't like make hasty decisions. Sometimes I feel when we're in this zone where we want to create something new in life, we can make bad decisions. So I feel like it's just saying slow things down more or less. But we're going to pull five main themes now here, Taurus. And we're going to see what else wants to come up. You have this kangaroo. It says unsettled times need to plan ahead. Um, I feel like there are, I mean, again, like I said, have said to everyone, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of craziness over the next 20 years of Pluto and Aquarius. So um, obviously I would prepare for the craziness. And people say, how do I prepare? I say, well, follow your heart. Uh, I've been saying this to you for weeks now, Taurus. Your heart knows exactly what you need to do. I would also focus on yourself, not necessarily the collective. And you might be saying, Chris, you just said that Pluto and Aquarius is the collective. Yes. Yes, I did. And yes, I am saying that you need to focus on yourself. Those are, yes, I know that seems contradictory, but it's not. You need to focus on yourself. And what you need to focus on is the things that you're doing, making sure that they inspire the collective. We can't instruct people at this time. We have to inspire people. So I feel like this is basically saying by you just existing and doing things that are hard in life, like creating a business, um, changing your career after 20 years, and maybe give someone else the balls to do it, right? Uh, who also has been suffering in their career because you did it, they did it, the star card. It's like by showing other people what you can do, then you're giving them permission to do it. And that's all you have to do. That's gonna come back to you tenfold, at least. You have this face card, it says secret admirer. Uh, why do I, I feel like you're the secret admirer here, Taurus. <laughs> Didn't I say this to you recently? I'm pretty sure. So you need to open your mouth here if you are interested in a person. Uh, again, obviously, if you're not a, the secret admirer, I feel like the other person needs to open their mouth. There's clearly love coming in here. And I would say they, they will probably open their mouth. Uh, sun, star. So they'll probably reveal themselves. You have this crown card. It says honor and respect will come to you. The whole entire beginning of the reading, I was saying that it's like you're wanting to become a recognized expert, or at least some of you are. And there you go. You have this mule card that says, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Probably this past person that we talked about, not even worth mentioning. Uh, I feel like you're moving past it. And finally, you have this needle and thread. It says, a sincere wish will be granted. Love it. <laughs> so there's definitely a granted wish. But this is a really good reading, Taurus. I like where it's going. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.